Hi guys, hi everybody. Um, super quick video on an optical illusion drawing. Okay, that's optical illusion. And that just means something that kind of tricks our eyes. Okay, optical, opti, usually means something to do with your sight. Okay, so optical illusion tricks our eyes and we're going to start with our paper at portrait or vertical orientation so we're going to draw a long you know we're going to draw a long line down the middle so we want it portrait like that so i just started kind of over here and just did a random kind of curvy line just one two three and then went off the bottom of the paper like that say curvy curvy okay um zoom out a little bit you can see it there we go okay so um, started with that line and then you keep adding you add a few more lines to your paper okay see there's my original line right there and then I added some more curvy lines sometimes I came away from the line and then curved in toward it back out back in this one I came in toward it way out and then back in a little bit and all together I've got six lines six curved lines sorry if that just whacked the microphone it probably made a loud noise um, just six random curvy lines going long ways down my paper okay then once I get that done I'm going to go over top of them in Sharpie okay then I'm gonna take my Sharpie the last thing I'm gonna to do to set this up is I'm gonna look for like a place where I've got a bunch of curves that look interesting so right here in the middle of this one going up here see that curve looks really interesting it's like really kinda of wild deep curve there and then maybe up here and through right there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from one side of my paper to the other just like that and just draw one more curved line so I have a total of seven on the paper all together six of them are going this way one of them is going across from this side to this side and it's completely up to you however you want to make that curve okay then the next step is starting with one of these sections so now I have one two three four five six seven sections over here and I've got seven sections across the bottom right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a curved line from one corner of the section and to the other alright and then I'm just gonna keep going making curved lines trying to be careful and start where I started my other line like that and you can even go back and forth like this from side to side okay and I'm just gonna keep going like this sometimes I might make it wider from here to here and sometimes I might not okay and I'm gonna do that whole this whole side like this and I kind of like to do it from you know keep going from one side to the other same side and if you get a little tiny bit of a white spot right there see that I'm gonna color that in because I want I want oops, there's another one right there see that one I'm gonna color that in like that because you keep going and then you do the same thing in the same direction on this side of the paper okay all your curves go toward the outside edge either the top or the bottom edge of your paper okay and you keep going keep going and see what happens here is when these you keep making those points come in it makes a nice dark area there alright and 
I'm actually going to turn the paper around and it's a little bit easier for me to make these curves. Oh, little white spot there. Get that. They don't have to be perfectly smooth and round. They don't have to be uh, all the same spacing apart. They can be, see, I can make one real close to that one. You see that? And then I can make my other ones. These are actually going to go off the paper. That one is. I turn the paper to the side so you can see. And then these are just going to go off the paper out into nowhere. Like that. Okay. That's one whole side done. I'm going to do all the other sides that same way. Then. I'm going to come back around and on the other side of my line that goes through the middle, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm going the other direction. Make that a little more smooth. Oopsie. If you mess up a little bit, just color it in like that. No big deal. Don't stress out about it. Don't, don't uh, get yourself too worked up over piece of art on a piece of paper. I've literally been working on this less than 10 minutes. You know, if I if I really can't stand it, yes, I can start again. You know how I don't like to waste paper, but I can start again if I really wanted to. No big deal. I'm not going to, you know, get high blood pressure over this stuff. <laughs> it's okay. We're here to learn, we're here to make mistakes, we're here to make messes, and the whole time we're learning and we're having fun, or hopefully we're having fun, right? Okay, so I'm going to do that on both sides, these curves going this way, pointing down, these curves going this way, pointing up, okay? If you turn the paper around, guess what, it does the same thing, these curves going facing down now these curves are facing up okay keep going on that finish that up once you get that done then go to part two of the video and I will show you how you can turn this into a really really cool optical illusion okay thanks for drawing with me you guys have a great day keep practicing keep having fun it's worth it. It's it's totally something that you can do. I believe in you. Okay? Talk to you soon. Thank you.